Tonight, a Fulton County judge giving former President Donald Trump and eight co-defendants official permission to appeal his disqualification ruling. Judge Scott McAfee's original order allowed District Attorney Fonnie Willis to stay on the Georgia election interference case in exchange for the removal of Special Prosecutor Nathan Wade, who resigned last week. But defense attorneys argue that's not enough to guarantee them a fair and impartial trial. 11 Live's Grace King explains what's going to happen here next, Grace. Georgia's Court of Appeals now has 45 days to decide whether to hear the issue of disqualification, but as they weigh their options, Fulton County Superior Court Judge Scott McAfee says he'll continue with other matters in this case. In granting a certificate of immediate review on Wednesday, McAfee wrote the trial court he leads intends to continue addressing the many other unrelated and pending pretrial motions. Now that's regardless of whether the petition is granted within 45 days of filing and even if any subsequent appeal is expedited by the appellate court. People are questioning now whether this case can be tried before November of 2024. Really, the way this is going, if there are more substantive appellate issues, an appeal can take 18 or 20 months. We're talking about pushing a potential trial far into the future. Now, the DA's office tells 11 Alive they will work to move this case forward to trial as quickly as possible. But Gwinnett County, former Gwinnett County DA Danny Porter, warns that the actual trial can't begin until the appeal effort is resolved. Now, as for the defense, Steve Sadow, who represents Trump, says they're optimistic their review will lead to DA Fonnie Willis's disqualification and a dismissal of this case. All right, Grace.